So the other day, I was looking at my Arduino and thinking, hmm, how can I switch high voltages, such as that coming from that power strip down there? And then I found this, the Power Switch Tail 2. And they wanted $25.99 for it, and it switches up to 15 amps. And I thought, okay, that's kind of cool, but I can probably make something better. And then this was born. Not 20 minutes later. So, what this is, is a simple relay and transistor circuit that I built, where the low power signal from my Arduino, this is a homemade shield, if you're wondering why it doesn't look quite right, um, it sends out a pulse to the transistor, turning it on, which is the pulse um, length is determined by that potentiometer, or it sets the pin high, and then sets the pin low, and then sets the pin high again, and does that over and over, and the time, or the delay, is determined by the potentiometer. I will probably do more Arduino tutorials in the future, but not now. Anyway, I had this 5 volt relay that I salvaged out of something. And since the Arduino is 5 volts, I hooked up the output of the transistor, or the transistor switches the relay on, because this draws more than 20 milliamps, which means that this would probably cause damage to the Arduino, so that's why I put the transistor in there, if you're wondering. I then proceeded to hook up this two-prong electrical outlet that I had. I have no idea where I got it from, or why I had it. And I also had this AC power cord that's running into the wall right now. And this cost me nothing to make. So that was the best part. I will show you how it works now with this uh, hacked lamp thing here. I don't know where it was. I found it in my garage. It's probably pretty dangerous. So I'm going to plug in my power supply to the Arduino. And it's going to be really overexposed, but when I turn you can actually see the reflection. When I turn the potentiometer, my camera's not picking it up quite right, but it switches it on and off. And this is just a lamp to show you how it works. But you could use this to switch anything. And that's the cool thing about it. It is very simple. I'm going to turn this off because I'm starting to get a headache. But you can now switch high voltages, pretty unsafe voltages, with a low power device such as that. The thing with, with this is it is pretty dangerous. There is exposed lines or mains voltage everywhere. I could touch one of those and probably get a pretty bad shock because it's hooked straight to the wall. That's the benefit of this thing, is that it's in a nice enclosure. But considering I made this in 20 minutes for absolutely nothing, that was the best part. I, I'm going to now probably put it in a nice enclosure and get a real three-prong outlet and get a three-prong cord so that I can switch grounded devices safely. So the typical wall outlet here in America has three wires called the hot, neutral, and ground wires. And typically speaking, if your house is wired correctly, the ground is the bottom circle connector on the wall outlet. The larger one on the left is the neutral, and the small one on the right is the hot wire. And what do all these mean? The uh, hot wire is the wire that carries the power to the circuit. So typically speaking, you would want to switch the hot wire off to get the electricity out of the circuit. The neutral wire is kind of like the negative, so to speak. The hot wire is like the positive, or the red wire, which is typically associated with a DC circuit. 
The neutral wire is usually the black wire in a DC circuit, like the ground. And then the ground on a wall outlet is connected actually to ground, thus the green color. It goes outside your house and deep into the ground, which can help if something is... It's a safety feature. Some older houses do not have that wire. And as you saw in my circuit, I did not have the ground wire. It's not the end of the world if you don't have it. Have you ever noticed how some appliances only have a two-prong cord, while others have a three-prong cord, as seen here? That's because they are lacking a ground wire, which isn't necessary in some circuits, but it's highly recommended. As you can see here, the rectangle is the relay, and it has four connectors. The coil, the common, and the normally open connectors. Now the coil can, is connected to 5 volts and that turns the relay on and off. The common is connected to the wall outlet and it's connected to the hot wire of the wall outlet. The normally open connector goes to the hot wire of your output. The neutral and ground, the white and green wires, go straight through and the reason the black wire is switched off is a safety f feature to get the electricity out of the circuit. This is a very simple schematic, and that is why it only took me five minutes to make. So this is just one quick example of what you can do with this. I have hooked up to a string of Christmas lights on our deck. You can kind of see the lake in the background. But when I turn the potentiometer, it looks pretty cool, especially in real life because my camera's not picking it up. But there you have it, quick and simple power switch tail that costs you almost nothing if you have parts lying around like I do. So there you have it, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and go build your own power switch tail.